Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am once again having a look at Stable Diffusion, but this time this video is for all the non-technical people. Yes, all the absolute beginners who don't know the difference between an SSD and an HDD, a GPU and a CPU. Maybe you haven't got a computer capable of running it. Who knows? Doesn't matter. Absolute beginners, you know nothing about computers. This one is for you. Now there's only one URL to know and that's down in the description so you can click that and that will take you straight to this website the very first time you get there it will look like this log into dream studio to continue to stability ai so you can sign up by clicking that link there you can click sign up and that will take you to there and and you can you know enter an email address so you'll have to have an email account and all that sort of stuff or what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue with google so if you've already got a Google account, maybe you have Gmail or something like that, then you can carry on with that. So I'm, I'm going to carry on with that. There. There we go. Fantastic. All right, that will only take a few seconds, and then I have to authorize the app. Hi, Nerdy Rodent. Stability AI is requesting access to your Dream Studio account. OK. And you can either accept or decline. Obviously, if you decline, then you can't use it. So I'm going to click Accept. And that will get me in. Excellent. Here, So here I am. Welcome to the Dream Studio Open Beta. Dream Studio is a front end and API to use the recently released stable diffusion image generation model. Core. Fantastic. It understands the relationship between words to create high quality images in seconds of anything you can imagine. Just type in a word prompt and hit dream. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So let's 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 do this. Obviously, you can you can read the rest of that. The safety filter is activated, so you know it, it may come across with some images that aren't quite what you'd expect. But uh, yeah, yeah. All right. So we've got loads and loads of things going on here. We've got a menu here over on the left. Dream. That's where we are now. History. A prompt guide. Social and an FAQ. So if you really don't know what's going on, there's there's all sorts of things going on there about the FAQ. So probably worth reading that. So is there a copyright in the images? How do I upscale an image? You you can't. Uh, can I invite others and all that sort of thing? So I, I'm inviting you. Come and, come and join Dream Studio. Come and do things. All right. Anyway, so let's go back to the dream. Right. OK, so we've got the dream. We've got a few things over here. We've got the width there. So how big can you make it? And you can make it very big. 1024. I'm going to stick with 512 by 512 because why not? Uh, scale adjusts how much the image will be like your prompt. Higher values keep your image closer to your prompt. Now seven's the default and that's a pretty good default and uh, this one only goes up to 20 so that's fine. Um, I'm, I'm gonna keep it on seven. I'm gonna keep it on seven. Um, 50 for the steps is, is also the default. Now it does go down to 10. 10 is the minimum and uh, 150 is the maximum. Um, I probably wouldn't go any lower than 25 to be honest. Uh, 25 is good if you're just doing a, a, sort of a quick sort of sketch see what your uh, see what your image is going to look like uh, but uh, yeah th honestly the default is absolutely fine so I'm going to keep it there on 50. Number of images how many images are you going to generate from your prompt? Now the default there is one and it can go all the way up to nine. Um, I'm going to have four. I'm going to have four because why not that will give me a, a little uh, variety of images to show. And then we've got the sampler here. So which diffusion sampler do you want to use? You've got lots and lots of options there. Now that, I know, I know, it looks very technical, doesn't it? DDIM, PLMS, KU, basically just, just pick one. It's a, it's, a, it's a little menu. You can pick whatever you want. Uh, the default is PLMS on the, on the normal one that you install locally. Uh, DDIM is also a very good option. But, you know, this, this has KLMS as the default sampler. So let, let's stick with the defaults, shall we? Right? Yeah? Okay. Now, so it's got a prompt already in here for you down at the bottom. A Dream of a Distant Galaxy by Caspar David Friedrich, matte painting trending on art station HQ. Does that mean anything to you? Does that mean anything to you? No, probably not. So what you're doing here basically is you're just typing English. You're typing even a word will do, a word or a phrase, anything you want to do. So try and Picture what you want the image to look like in your mind and, and how would you describe that using English. And then you'll probably get it wrong the first time. You'll probably get it, you know, not quite how you want it maybe. Not necessarily wrong, but, you know, not quite how you want it. So you can evolve from there. You can, right, you know, you'll, you'll have a look at the pictures it generates and go, ah, 
okay so th this is how i want to change my prompt somewhat so let's let's start down here so let's just have a photograph of a very cute and nerdy pet rodent yeah then you just click the dream button and in a few seconds as you can see it's going up there very very quickly you will have four images of photograph of a very cute and nerdy pet rodent and you're like wow wow that's pretty cool that's pretty cool i like all of those images particularly that one it's, it's like he's got a little face mask on it tells you the seed there so you can download it as well so if you want to download it you can just click on that and then yeah then you can save it that's fine all right there we go we'll save that one there i've got it saved I've got it saved. But as you can see, all these rodents have a, a few extra hands. Yeah, so something like that will happen. And uh, maybe maybe you didn't want a photograph. Maybe you didn't want a photograph. Maybe maybe, maybe you wanted a drawing of a, a very cute and nerdy pet rodent. And maybe you wanted him wearing a hat. So you can say, wearing a hat. Yeah? And then when you click Dream, you'll get something quite similar, but you know, a drawing instead, and he'll be wearing a hat. There we go. Ah, yeah, yeah, excellent. I like all of those. Oh, I like all of those. That's a very good hat, isn't it? That is a very good hat. But maybe, maybe you wanted to be more specific with the hat. So you could be wearing a top hat. Yeah. And maybe, maybe you did quite like the photograph. So I'll still have the photograph. A photo ra of a very cute, nerdy pet rodent wearing a top hat. And let's let's also give him glasses shall we yeah and also maybe sitting on a park bench yeah how about that how about that so we'll get all these different things we'll get the photograph style as well so you may want to mix styles of things you know photographs drawings cartoons illustrations and you see one one there is in you know not in color whereas all the other ones are so you might have to specify color if you start getting lots of things without color in but there he is he's wearing a top hat and glasses and sitting on a park bench so there you go absolutely so simple to use really really easy beta.dreamstudio.ai just log in type the prompts you don't you don't even have to change any of these things on the side if you want to and you are creating images and downloading in seconds so there you go absolute beginners anybody can use this you can use it on your tablet you can use it on your computer with whatever gpu it is that you've got even if you don't know what a gpu is so there you go dream studio stable diffusion have fun rodents out for now